Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for tuning in. Please, if you do not mind, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. I am trying to post more content more often, and the only way you're gonna know is if you ring that bell for notifications. Today, we are reviewing a brand new movie that came out on the Paramount Plus streaming platform. That's right, I'm talking about the classic comedic duo of Beavis and Butthead. I thought the same thing. What? They're still around? Indeed they are. And they just came out with a brand new feature length movie directed by the creator, Mike Judge. All the original voices appear to be back. And I just checked this out. And I have to say, holy smokes, this does not disappoint. I was never a hardcore Beavis and Butt Butthead fan. I certainly can't tell you specific episodes and that kind of stuff. I remember the, the banter with the videos and all that, and I remember vaguely, I haven't seen Beavis and Butthead do America in a very long time, but I have to say, as a property that has uh, been gone for basically 20 years or so, uh, this movie is unbelievably funny. I found myself laughing throughout uh, the movie, uh, and the way they bring them back, bring them into like modern times, 2022, hilarious, uh, basically, in a nutshell, Beavis and Butthead are still watching TV on their couch, inadvertently enter a science fair at their school, and uh, to set the story in motion, things happen, the science fair burns down, the, any credit of who won is whisked away, and since they were the only ones there at the scene, uh, that had something to show for what they had done, they get thrown into this basically a space program. This woman agrees to train them. Once our boys have decided to take them up on sort of the space program, they're waiting for an interview and they fumble into hydraulics and stuff and they're messing with this mechanical rocket, like a space portal thing. And in a very suggestive way, they're making the rocket go into the space portal over and over and over to the point where the people in the space program feel like that's their team. If they could sit there and do this menial task for as long as they did it, which I think they allude to being 18 hours with no breaks and no food, they're like, these are our guys, they can do it. And they, they go into training and the whole time she's enticing them inadvertently that her not realizing she's using language that leads them to believe that she's going to sleep with them and that they're finally going to get laid after all this. So they agree, yeah, 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 yeah. They get involved in the space program and the training and everything, thinking that they're going to put themselves through all this and at the end they're going to get to sleep with this woman. It's totally hilarious. It proves to myself that I haven't grown up one bit in terms of the, the language that they use, the stuff that makes me laugh. It's all still period accurate of a Beavis and Butthead movie. I found it very enjoyable. So then our boys get launched into space and they find a black hole. They go through that. Multiverses start to ensue because everything you know, as you know now, is a multiverse. So to get that involved a little bit uh, and hilarity ensues as the rest of the time in this new dimension, this new reality, the woman has grown up to run for a uh, senator and they, uh, they're constantly trying to get to her and she thinks that they're trying to attack her. Uh, she doesn't realize that they're from the future and no one understands how that could be. So the whole rest of the movie, she thinks she's supposed to be running from them because they're trying to attack her. They really, they're trying to get to her, to sleep with her. Once they get to the 21st century, uh, they run into all these things that we now take for granted. They're talking to Siri, thinking it's a real person, thinking it's the woman's uh, nickname for herself. So they're talking to that. They run into all these sort of modern conveniences that are hilarious. They goof on it. Uh, like I would expect Mike Judge to do, the comedy is still there. It's still nicely, deliciously, politically incorrect and hilarious. And it was some of the best 86 minutes I've spent in a very long time. So I highly recommend it. If you are a Beavis and Butthead fan, I'm for sure you're gonna like it because it's uh, right right up there with all of their wacky antics. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen Beavis and Butthead do American in a very long time. 
but I thought this was very enjoyable. They hit on everything that you love about the duo. Uh, there's just some stellar sequences, video parodies. I mean, it's all in there. Mike Judge really outdone himself. I knew nothing about this movie in production. I don't know how long it's been in production. I don't know a lot of the, the finer details about it. But I will say that in a, like we're all reaching for nostalgia and these things that make us feel young again and you know, this made me feel like I was in high school again and all this. This is right up there. And I don't know if that was the intention or Paramount Plus just needed content for their streaming service, but they got both. They got something that, uh, sadly, the market would not be for a theater release anymore because I don't think that it would pack out, pack theaters uh, anymore. This is very niche, I should say. Um, but thoroughly enjoyable. I just want to come on here real quick, make a quick review. Beavis and Butthead do Outer Space. A fine, fine Beavis and Butthead film. If you do want to feel like you're in high school again, if you do want to laugh at immature jokes and immature behavior still after almost 30 years, it is so worth it. I laughed out loud. I was watching this movie by myself and I laughed out loud several times watching it. I definitely recommend it highly for a good laugh. Get your buddies together and relive some of those glory Beavis and Butthead days. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do not forget to hit like. Do not forget to hit subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications as I am trying to post more content more often. And the only way you'll get notified is if you ring that bell. I appreciate you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.